What is up everybody? It is King Kunta and today I have another uh gold farm kinda slash exploit maybe not so much. I don't know, it's kind of uh iffy on what you'd like to call this. And before I show you guys this method and any way to do this method, um I am adding the disclaimer that this may be classified potentially as an exploit, so do it at your own risk. Okay, you hear that? This is not my fault if you get in trouble for this. I'm just simply showing you this information, and that's really all I have to say. Um, and if you find at the end of end of the video that you do uh, enjoy my channel or anything like that, and uh, you'd like to support me in any way, uh, if you could just leave a like or maybe even subscribe or just a comment down below, um, that always helps, and I like interacting with you guys, and uh, it shows that you guys... Uh, staying current and keep coming back to my channel, so um, thank you for all of that. So, I was a bit hesitant to show you guys this at first because technically it could be classified as an exploit, but I believe it should be the user's opinion, or not opinion, choice as to whether they potentially put themselves in danger and something like that. Now, there is <clears throat> the, uh, you know, chance that this is not listed as an exploit and this can be doable so I you know you can do it if you'd like I personally am not doing this just because of it but I know that there are people out there that will so I'm gonna be showing you um, a special little trick with uh, class trial characters so first things first you need to log out and you're gonna have to create a class trial trial character that is horde so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create a new character um, just make it Blood Elf, uh, no Demon Hunter, and we'll just go Mage, okay, why not? So we'll make a class trial character, and then now uh, you can just randomize all this stuff, um, and just start it and enter the world. Now the class trial character is going to put you at a training ship kind of area where it's going to run you through a whole scenario. You don't have to do that. The first thing that you do once you get to the... Uh, oh, I don't know why I said that like that. But first thing that you're going to do when you get to the scenario is you're just going to hurt... Oh, that was different. I don't know what happened there. But the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to open up your bags and you're going to hearth to your garrison. Now, this method, like I said in the be beginning of the video, could be classified as an exploit. So, I'm just saying that now, and I want you guys to be fully aware of that throughout this entire video. I know there's people that are giving me some crap for showing my subs this, but it's honestly up to you, and I believe you guys are educated enough to make your own deci decisions. And if anything, this is kind of a way to show Blizzard that it kind of exists in the game. So, we're going to go ahead and enter our uh, instance and it's just going to load all this stuff up and bartenders on which needs to not be on yeah everything's like loading in currently so we'll pop this up once everything kind of pops in like this uh, there we go okay so we're just going to go to our garrison and then I'll have to turn bartender off in a second. So all you really do is hearth just right to your garrison, just like that. You don't have to do any of the beginning instance uh, whatsoever. Now, the way this works is, you guys are going to think it's a little far-fetched to believe, but there is a clam in Draenor that you are able to get a toy from uh, if you fish the toy up. So really what we're doing is just hearthing to our garrison, taking the flight path to the clam that's located in Draenor, and then fishing up the toy and putting it on the auction house. And as you can see, this is a one-time thing kind of thing for a character, um, and this way you can bring in tons of them into the market, of course. And as you can probably already see on your server, this might be happening already in some capacity. Um, in my server right now, it sells for 2,000 gold, so obviously it's... Uh, not as viable for me as an option but there are servers that where people have not done this uh, method uh, at all and they get to a point where they can just run their entire market of the uh, 
you know, their entire market on the auction house just solely due to the fact that um, they're able to bring in so many of these and no one else can do that. So what we're going to have to do is we have to learn uh, fishing. So you need to exit your uh, garrison where you show up. So it's going to fly over here and we have to go get a fishing pole. So if you give me one second, if I can find my collections over here. We'll just go to mounts, and we'll just mount whatever mount you have in there, and we're going to go get our fishing pole. So I believe, oh, no, it's not this way, it's this way. Uh, when you're in the horde garrison, you run right through here, and uh, we'll be able to talk to the fishing trainer, I believe, where are you at? There you are. Okay, so you talk to the fishing trainer and uh, you train fishing and then you buy a fishing pole from that guy and then this I guess why not you can buy that if you want I don't know why I did but we're doing that now after you obtain the fishing pole and you learn fishing you're going to have to put the action in your hotbar uh, somewhere because you're gonna have to end up using it now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our uh, Griffin Master or our flight person and we're gonna tell them to show me whatever and we're going here Thorm Var Frostfire Ridge make sure you come to this location right here or else you're gonna have a pain in the butt you're gonna have you're gonna go here and then you're gonna have to take the flight path there still so make sure you go to that flight path or location so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the video so you guys don't need to see me fly all the way there. And when we come back, I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to know and you should be good to go. So I'm cutting the video now. All right, everybody, we're back. And as you can see, we are at the Flight Master location. And what we're going to do now is I should have just put the thing into my hotbar, but I'm dumb. So we're going to mount up. You want to mount. Just mount Twilight Drake right there. And obviously, if you had drain or flying, uh, it's going to make it easier. I've just never um, bothered to unlock it. But we're going to this area right here in this little kind of cove uh, place. Now, it can kind of be annoying because there's a bunch of mobs that will try to aggro you. And they're level 99 and you're only level 100. So you kind of do need to try your best to avoid them. Um, obviously, as you can see, it can kind of be a pain in the butt to get through here unless you have... Uh, other people kind of, you know, hitting the mobs or stuff like that are currently going through Draenor. So, keep going through here. There is... Let's see if I can get there. Oh, bad aggro. God dang it. Alright, I'll try to leave that guy. So, we're just going to go this way. Now, it is down there, which is where we have to get to without dying, which is going to kind of be the challenge here. I think I can think I can make it. Yeah, these mobs will aggro you from quite a distance, and it's kind of like the most annoying thing. Okay, can go down here. Okay. So, we'll go, oh, got another one on me. But really, I'm just going to run past all these, and if they kill me, they kill me, because I don't want to have to deal with all this. But I'll show you once we get to the shore, eventually. Hopefully some of these will leave me alone. There we go. Come on, come on. Stop hitting me. Yes. Okay, we survived. So... The clam we are looking for, I'm going to keep walking around here. I know it kind of took the longest. So there's the clam, as you can see right there, that we're going to try to get to. I guess we'll just go swimming. So we're just going to swim over there. Obviously, if you have flying, you'll be able just to run here uh, super easily. So once we get to this clam and this little kind of cove, so you can see where we're at. If I can find him. Oh, he's back here. 
So we're just going to go to the clam and we're just going to throw our fishing line right in front of him. So like right at the base of the clam. So we're going to pass him real quick and we're just going to throw... Uh, give me one second. Oh, got to get my profession, obviously. And then we'll fish, and we're kind of not in front of it. You, we want to make sure that we are kind of in front of the clam. There we go. Right about there is good. And, uh... The first thing you fish up will be the uh, item as well, just so you're, you know. So we got the giant Draenor Clam, and then when you open this, you get a pretty Draenor Pearl. And as you can see, those are kind of the prices on my uh, server right now. And other servers vary, and it can literally go up to 20,000 gold. So obviously, dependent on whether or not... Um, you're on a high or low pop server, how much the price is, obviously it's going to be more or less viable for you. But the highest price servers that we could see on uh, different various websites were uh, selling them upwards of twenty to 30,000 gold. So if you are on those, you guys have a pretty good chance at uh, doing pretty decent with this farm. Um, so if you guys did like the video, uh, like, comment, subscribe down below. Also. Uh, I found the video from a different YouTuber, which I will give credit to in the description below, so if you want to check him out. Also, check out the description if you are interested in any of the uh, new stuff that I am putting down there, such as like uh, all my recording software, gear, stuff like that. And also, uh, let me know about your thoughts about the idea of starting a Patreon for this page, because uh, I think it would help. You guys, not alone, obviously, you know, farms that I can't post here because they would ruin the market just because, you know, they'd make too much gold and stuff like that. So uh, if you are interested in the idea of me starting a Patreon and you think it's a good idea, you think it's a bad idea, uh, I'd always ask for your feedback. Just tell me why uh, in the description below, and I thank you for it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.